Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the NECA American Werewolf in London, American Werewolf in London? American Werewolf in London Ultimate Nightmare Demon. Now, this is an army builder figure, basically, for... I mean, I guess it's not a super niche movie, but it's not one that I would have thought would have been getting action figures made anytime soon. I mean, it's a great film, absolutely fantastic. I wish we'd just gotten the werewolf first. I, I don't know why that bugs me, but I would like to have the werewolf in hand, but I think they're making that a very dynamic, huge figure, so it's just taking more effort. And in the meantime, we have this very good figure to fill the space, and it's just a cool concept for an army builder, very different, and NECA's knocked it out of the park in terms of sculpting. I mean, all the various heads and faces are just so menacing and kind of disgusting and grotesque, but they've just nailed it. I mean, yeah, the aesthetic on this one alone. I'll show you the others in the pictures, but you can just see all the craters on the face, the helmet has some battle damage, the creases and wrinkles in the uniform, the belt, the sort of texturing there of the leather, all of it is so good, the buckle... Just a really nice, well-executed figure. Aesthetically, at least. Articulation-wise, uh, accessories-wise, it has a load of accessories. Like, it comes with a knife, a bloody knife, so many heads, extra hands, like a flaming torch, and guns. It's just the guns are kind of brittle, especially this one. The sort of back of this is super brittle, guys. I touched it, at, well, I looked at it and basically snapped off. So just be warned and be careful. Articulation-wise, this guy is still quite good. So the head can get some great range of motion there. It's a double ball joint, I think. So really, really good range of motion all around. Arm-wise, you don't have a bicep swivel, but you do have an elbow swivel. So that'll give you 360 degrees. Yep. The wrists are on a hinge, a good hinge. And they bend. Oh, the elbow bends, little, pretty much 90, and you can get this up to almost 90 degrees. There is no, like, diaphragm joint, but there is a waist swivel. And then the leg can come forward that much, so not quite 90. Can do a fairly good splits. You go back, not at all. Knee bends, 90. Knee is where you get your swivel as well, there is no shin swivel or anything, it's just the knee. And then you get the foot down that much, up this much, and a decent pivot. So he's not superbly articulated, NECA very rarely is, but he does look amazing, he comes with a great swath of accessories and so many extra heads, the knife has a good sheen, yeah, really really pretty figure, in a disgusting way, but just not the most articulated. But again, that's not what you get from this line, and he moves well enough. You can still get dynamic, cool-looking poses. Uh, just for the sheer range of accessories and the price and everything, this is definitely a 5 out of 5. NECA knocked this out of the park. And such an obscure franchise. I'm so pleased this is getting figures made. Cannot wait for the actual werewolf. Yeah, let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Did I say 5 out of 5? Five? 5 out of 5. Dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it, the NECA American Werewolf in London Ultimate Nightmare Demon. So many head sculpts, extra hands, the weapons, the knives are fantastic accessories, the heads are fantastic accessories, I don't know which is my favourite, they're all so well sculpted. The body is articulated enough for you to get any dynamic pose you want, which is good. Where it falls down and why it is going to lose that 5 star rating is because the gun accessories, it just can't hold them correctly, they're quite fragile. And this is just an ongoing problem with NECA where they will throw all these accessories in and they don't actually test if they work. Which is a major bummer because why sculpt all these amazing nice looking pieces if they're going to be fragile or if the figure won't be able to use them? Absolute waste of your time. You're better off just giving us few accessories that work very well because that won't undermine the figure. Because again, I was loving this until I couldn't get him to hold the gun or the gun was just snapping off after, you know, a very light touch. 
So that's that. The figure is now bumped down to a 4.5 out of 5. It is not perfect. It is still very, very good, but don't make false promises because that bumps a rating down and is very disappointing. So there you have it. Uh, that's it for this review, but time for the shameless self-promotion. If you haven't yet, please head on over to Amazon and pick up a copy of my book, Knaves on Waves. It is currently rated five stars. In fact, it's the highest rated thing with knaves in it, in the title, in the world right now. So definitely worth your time checking out. Uh, what else? Oh, I Twitter now. So I'll post a link to my Twitter page in the description. And yeah, if you enjoy Hero House, then follow us on Twitter. That would be fantastic. Thank you. And as always, you know, we've got plenty more reviews that are updated frequently. We've got Hero House, The Wreckers, Fika Fights, Top 10 List, Ranking List, just loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye.